Okay. It's 529. You know what that means? We're early. Uh, um, I'm Max Bacon. I'm the mayor of Smyrna and uh, have been for probably too long. Uh, We're delighted that everyone's here tonight. This is the uh, 12th annual uh, Mayor's Award uh, that we started in 2006. Let's see, is that right? 2006 and 12 would be 2018. Pretty good. I did, I did great in geography. Um, uh, to us, the most important thing about our community is, is education and our schools and so we do this just to recognize those that are the elite that have given back. Uh, and the way that it works is this way. Uh, we don't pick the ones that are on the list. Uh, we let the principal do that. So for the other 863,000 didn't get elected or didn't get selected, talk to the principal. Um, <laughs> we recognize the student, the volunteer, and the um, um, and the staff, so whoever that is. and I mean, it's been great. This is one of the things I look the most forward to. Uh, but we've got one hour, and we got a hook outside. So if I'm not worried about the people that get the awards. It's the principals that go on and on, which they should, which they're proud of their, the ones. And Chris Ragsdale's here. We're glad he's here. He was outside playing the piano. He will play starting at 6.30. So it was no cover, no minimum. <laughs> Dr. Kevin Daniels is here somewhere. Some lady raised her hand. Is Kevin here? Okay, he's not here. I'm not going to recognize him. Dr. Robert Downs. There's a the hand. There you go. Uh, Christian Suter. Yep. Did I say that right? Uh, and Susan Thayer broke her leg or something. Did y'all know that? What happened? Bone her foot. I hope they're not going to put her down. You know, that's, that's what they do to. They tried to put me down twice when I broke mine. And, but anyway, thank y'all so much for being here. We're going to. Uh, and I got some council members here, uh, and our assistant city administrator is here. The guy that looks. He's got an eight hundred dollar Italian suit on. I don't know. Six hundred dollar Italian shoes. Marilyn Blackburn is here, our newest council member, Corky Welch, uh, Derek Norton, Ron Fennell, Terry Graham. This is the brain right here, Christy Allman. I want to thank uh, McIntyre's Bakery, um, Zaxby's, Jim and Nick's. Who else? Is that enough? Because there's, there's gift certificates and all these little things that we give out, so... Uh, we're going to start to do something a little different. Uh, this will make people at the top of this mad, but you can get you can get over it. It happens all the time. Uh, we're going to let Whitfield Academy go first, and they came up with some lame excuse why they need to go first. But um, Danny Ryan, head athletic director, come on, it's okay. This will go on for another hour. The quicker you get this over with, the quicker it is. Thank you so much. So thanks. There you go. I'll go as quick as I can. I don't have an excuse. So the first one that I'd like to honor tonight from our staff is uh, Coach Coleman Joyner. Uh, he's our head football coach. Coach Joyner is a man that has four passions. He loves the Lord. He loves his family and friends. He loves teaching and coaching kids, and he loves being from Smyrna, Georgia. At Whitfield, we are blessed when Coleman moved back to Smyrna area to join the Whitfield community. His passion for others ahead of self, which is part of the Whitfield motto, is evident every day that he comes to work. I know this means a lot to him, as one of his personal goals is to always be giving back to the community that you are from. I'd like to congratulate Coleman Joyner on his recognition. <laughs> Next will be our student, Chip Goldsmith. He's, he's actually not here. Coleman's not here. Coleman's not here. Chip will be here. What I get for letting you go for it. <laughs> Let me talk about Chip. Chip is one of a kind. He's kind, consistent, responsible, and an intelligent student. He's a natural drive to be the best he can be. Chip is by nature quiet and likes to lead by example. He's a consistent leader and a high performer on the varsity track and football team. He's a leader academically and named a senior scholar for this year's graduating magna cum laude. When asked what are Chip's greatest strengths, 
Steve Hellyer, an esteemed faculty member in our math department, stated that Chip's outstanding deductive reasoning skills, combined with his unique ability to think outside the box, makes him one of the best critical thinkers he has ever taught at Whitfield Academy. His potential as a problem solver moving forward on into college and life is immense. Chip is a kind and respectful student who also has a sly and subtle sense of humor. These attributes, along with his smile, enliven any class of which he is a part. His teachers collectively agree he will be a huge blessing to his professors and peers at the next level. Chip Goldsmith. And last, we have Jeannie Watson, our volunteer parent. It is indeed a pleasure to honor Jeannie Watson with the Mayor's Outstanding Volunteer Service Award. Over the years of having two children at the lower school, Jeannie has served on various committees. She served as a grade level representative and has served these past two years as our lower school Whitfield Parent Association, co-vice president in charge of coordinating all lower school events and parent committees. From the grandparent day to the sweetheart ball, from the field day to donuts with dad, Jeannie is somewhere in the crowd making sure everything is running smoothly. She's served selflessly, faithfully, positively, lovingly, enthusiastically, courageously, with humility, fairness, friendliness, and kindness. The lower school is a better place because of Jeannie Watson, and, has, and she has served incredibly well over the past two years. We are grateful for her time and talents and her investment to our school. Thank you, Jeannie. We are deeply appreciative of you and your hard work and are pleased to honor you. You did good. I don't have time to International Academy. Uh, Carrie Sharrock is a principal. This is a shock. Carrie you always goes last. What is the problem? Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, I am Carrie Schrock, the very proud principal of the International Academy of Smyrna, and also very proud that we're still able to con that we're able to continue to serve the families in our community. My absolute pleasure in celebrating our honorees this semester. We'll start with our student Joy Smith, um, universally liked by her peers, revered and respected by her teachers, and the words that they choose to describe you, Joy, are respectful and responsible. You are accountable for actions you make positive or negative, which is a very valuable trait. Well-rounded citizen in our academic community. You are a risk taker academically, and shares your learning with others leading by example. She's well liked by her peers, teachers, and demonstrates a value for all who are part of our community. I'm so proud to recognize you. Congratulations. <laughs> our volunteer this time around, um, for those of you who know about our school, we don't have the benefit of transportation. Transportation to and from school is the sole responsibility of every family. So if you can imagine carpool every morning and afternoon. Um, rain or shine, high or low temperatures, um, our volunteer is always there to lend a helping hand. And we wouldn't be able to do it without her. Thank you, Ms. Claudia Tierra Blanca, for your, communi your community service to our school. And our teacher recipient, oh, Lord have mercy. I will keep it short, I promise. Um, Miss April Battle has served the math students at our school for the last nine years. Um, recognition by her peers is far beyond what I could ever acknowledge. She makes many sacrifices. We had some staffing transitions and some unexpected changes this year. She never missed a beat. She picked up and covered for academics that aren't necessarily her math expertise um, and did so willingly with a smile and a commitment to see it through. 
um, is rarely away from her students because she truly believes that she is the best person to meet their math needs, only recently stepped away to accept and be a part of honor recognition for her own children, a very proud mom as well for students who have also come through IAS. Um, always positive, enjoys sharing things that her classes are doing. Um, if you were to ask any student who their favorite teacher is, who've come through, I am sure that they would recognize Miss Battle. She sits and has lunch with her, children's, her children every day, which is not a requirement, um, but she sets very high standards and meets and exemplifies all that IAS stands for. So we wouldn't be the same without you. Thank you. Unless they want one. Yeah. All right, let's get this over. This is not. Yeah. I don't know. I guarantee you, there's 800 people that got cameras. In. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot hold my stomach in much longer. How's it going over there? Is that enough? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Robert Barber, headmaster of Covenant Christian School. Yeah, that goes to that other one. Well, once again, it's a real delight to be here and be a part of a community that values shaping the future through educating children. Uh, like this and with the support that our council gives. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, for, our, for our student to be recognized tonight, we present Yosef Johannes. Yosef has been an integral part of the Covenant Christian community for the past five years and is a model student. He is currently in the fifth grade. He's an inaugural member of our safety patrol and he faithfully serves the student body by consistently being at his post on time and carrying out his duties with fervor and joyfulness. He recognizes opportunities to help his classmates and his teachers and seizes those opportunities. <clears throat> he even volunteers to do the jobs that are frowned upon by others. Yosef seems to really enjoy school and he works diligently to maintain A averages in every one of his classes this school year. He's a well-mannered young man. He smiles often. He's a pleasure to be in the company of. <laughs> and finally, he is an excellent representative of the graduate that we hope to graduate, a disciple with wisdom and eloquence. Would you congratulate Yosef with me? Our staff honoree tonight is Tracy Noble. Her duties as school receptionist, administrative secretary, faculty liaison, parent advocate, school news editor and publisher, first responder, and so much more lets you know just a little bit about how she is truly the heart of the school community life at Covenant Christian School. You see, she, while she's the heart and the hub she also handles all the responsibilities of her position with professionalism and the kind of grace and mercy that are an excellent reflection of the servant leadership and spirit and heart of Jesus Christ. Tracy is not only a very present reminder of Christ to everyone at Covenant Christian School, she's also a wonderful ambassador of our, uh, our academy in the community beyond our walls. Tracy, congratulations. Nothing warms the heart of a school administrator like parents that get it. What makes Covenant Christian School different is our classical approach to learning. We believe it has its roots in the biblical trivium of knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. These are known by their classical terms, grammar, logic, and dialectic stages of learning. They're the first three of the seven liberal arts. One day last year, Dr. Johnson approached me to discuss 
how we teach computers at Covenant Christian School. Most classical educators believe that the more time a student spends in front of a computer screen, the less time that they're developing their reasoning skills. I explained that we show Microsoft uh, Office and uh, word processing and PowerPoint and those kinds of things to our students in the middle school and we provide a small mobile lab for them to practice on. Dr. Johnson listened uh, uh, compassionately. <clears throat> and then he began, he began to explain to me that he's a computer science professor at Morehouse College. And there he has college students that come into his classes who can do great things with computers, but they don't have any clue how the computer works. They're essentially <coughs> slaves to the technology. He graciously explained to me the knowledge, understanding, and wisdom stages of the science of computers and outlined a program to teach the science of computer, computers classically to our students all the way from kindergarten through eighth grade. Working together with a group of other parents with computer and technology experience, Dr. Johnson led the way to creating a new computer learning center and initiating and establishing an all-school curriculum for helping our students master the science of technology and computers. It'll grow into its third year this next year. Dr. Johnson, we thank you for your wonderful servant leadership and the fruit that it's bearing in the lives of our students today and will continue in the future. Thank you. Dr. Gene Walker, Campbell High School. Come on up. Uh, Saturday night, I think the Campbell High School boys soccer team advanced to the semi state semifinals by sort of whipping up on South Gwinnett, who was a bunch of babies, and they cried and <laughs> started a fight. And you play soccer. <laughs> Good evening. It's my pleasure tonight to recognize our student recipient of the Mayor's Award. Tonight is Eddie Maranta, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Maranta of Smyrna, Georgia. Eddie is an outstanding senior at Campbell High School. He's a member of the SCREAM team, the Principal's Advisory Board, National Honor Society. He also is best known as the president of the Peer Mediator Group at Campbell High School. He is a team leader at St. Thomas the Apostle Catholic Church, plays bass, bass, bass for the <laughs> choir at church, and um, works at Old Navy. Not to mention that he has his own clothing line. Is it called Off Season? Off Season Atlanta. Eddie takes all AP and Honors classes at Campbell High School and currently holds a 3.929 GPA. Wow. He plans to... Okay. Eddie plans to attend Georgia State University next year, and I think he's been offered a few scholarships. I hear Full Ride is coming your way. Great. What scholarships, Eddie? Well, I've been offered a $40,000 scholarship from Georgia State. I got um, an Univision scholarship for 1300 and I'm going to be on TV, and I got hope. Yay. Awesome. Congratulations. You can definitely see why Eddie is being recognized tonight. He's a great influence around our campus um, and really embodies what the Peer Mediator Program is about. He even helped our principal's advisory group start their own uh, tutoring program with some of our struggling ninth graders. So he's a true asset and will be missed at Campbell. Uh, next, I'd like to rec. Oh yes. <laughs> Thank you, Eddie. Next, I'd like to recognize our volunteer recipient of the Mayor's Award, Ms. Peggy Martin. Ms. Martin is president of the Campbell Baseball Boosters and was truly the team mom this year. She made sure the team was fed before every game away and home, and many times she was the cook. Um, she brought in the food herself. She attended every game, helped plan special events, and did whatever our coaches needed. And Coach Searcy is here to vouch for that. What makes it truly remarkable is that Ms. Martin is also a retired principal who served at Cooper Middle School for many years, worked as an assistant principal at Wheeler High School and a teacher at Walton. So not only did she spend her career serving students and families in Cobb County, she continues to serve as a volunteer in our school, and we are very blessed. Thank you. 
and least but certainly not last, our teacher recipient is Ms. Carla Henry. Ms. Henry is a teacher in our MOID, Moderately Intellectually Disabled Students classroom. She plans meaningful community-based instructional trips for them, including activities such as trips to Georgia Power to learn about energy saving. She personally assisted the school with our Cobb school bus driver breakfast and worked with her students and staff to make uh, special gifts for the bus drivers and other uh, special messages for each driver. She has held and participated in many parent info sessions after school and uses her mind to keep all of her students' parents fully informed on what's going on day in and day out in the classroom. This year, she worked with the Chick-fil-A Leader uh, Academy students and our Friends Club to provide a special needs prom for all the high school students in South Cobb County. Uh, it was a big event hosted by the Atlanta Braves at SunTrust Park, so if it hadn't been for Miss Henry's uh, wonderful organization and attention to detail, we could not have pulled off such a great event that was um, a once in a lifetime moment for many of the students who attended. So thank you, Miss Henry. We're blessed to have you up here. Yeah, give Mr. Microphone back. Take a picture. I don't have a camera. You've got to hurry. You can't way back there. You can't even see our faces. At Zoom, oh, the Zoom. I should have known that. Thank y'all. Good job. Griffin Middle School, Paul Gillahan, where's he at? He's not here tonight. I'm filling in for him. Well, then you go last. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Can you stop? That's okay. We love joking. My name is Tracy E. Fall. I'm the assistant principal at Griffin Middle School, and Mr. Gillahan sends his regrets for not being able to be here tonight. But I get to honor some amazing people, and so Josh, come over here real close. I don't bite. This is one of my sixth graders. He's awesome, one of uh, an amazing people. I want to share with you what your teachers say about you. They say that Josh is super enthusiastic, hardworking. He is a member uh, in good standing of the Beta Club. He likes to debate a lot in class. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, he's very musical. He's in both chorus and band and actually got a superior rating in his uh, performance at the GMEA District 12 Honor Band, which he plays saxophone. If you play a little bit of jazz, maybe you can play with the superintendent with the, the piano, a little bit, little duet. Um, he is super service oriented. His teachers across the board said that he cares so much for other students and makes sure to pull kids in that are feeling left out. So he has a real giving heart and is a super socially conscious, great student at Griffin. And we're so proud to honor you tonight, Josh. Mr. Bacon? Yeah. Good job. Good job. Uh, Jen Williams wasn't able to come tonight, but her, fab her fabulous husband is here. Come over. I really, I don't bite. Okay. Okay. Um, Jen is our PTSA treasurer. Um, she is, does she live at Griffin more than she lives at your house? Yes, I see her all the time at our school. She lives and breathes Griffin Wildcats and we love her very much. Um, she has been all year organizing our substitute gift bags that we have and we have not had as much of a substitute problem this year as we have in the past. Um, so people like to come and, and be a part of Griffin and we're very proud of that and it's because of Jen that that, that happens. Um, she also, we have an, a fabulous Teacher Appreciation Week this week, and she has organized all that, I think, single-handedly on her own, um, gotten a lot of our partners in ed involved in this week's festivities for our teachers to show our appreciation for teachers. And um, a quote from our principal was, no matter what we ask, she comes through for us. So we want to honor Jen Williams tonight and appreciate her so much. So thank you so much. And y'all, I couldn't say enough wonderful things about our teacher, Mr. Langston. I get to teach with him every day in sixth grade. 
Um, he's one of our excellent math teachers. The thing that stands out the most to me about Mr. Langston is that he is a faithful, kind-hearted teacher. Kids love, love, love him. He's involved in every capacity at Griffin. He helps to uh, develop teachers. He shares what he learns. He shares his best practices with our teachers all the time. He has developed such a collaborative spirit in our school, uh, especially amongst our math teachers, and it's it made a big difference in our school. He was asking me, what do you think, um, how do you think we've grown the most at Griffin this year? And I said, well, gosh, the math department's stellar. And a lot of that is because of Mr. Langston. He also was invited to present at the National Math Conference in New Mexico this year, which was amazing. So we have, we put Griffin on a national map there. Um, he is the sponsor for the Math Bowl and our robotics program. Um, and uh, let's see. He is starting a new group next year as the ambassador of a group called Leading Hope, which um, is a program about loving self, loving others, and loving service. And that is exactly what Mr. Langston uh, exemplifies on a daily basis. And he also recently got married, and his beautiful wife is our photographer tonight. <laughs> so Mr. Bacon, I'd like to um, honor Mr. Langston. Here's the camera. We're good. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank y'all. Congratulations. Are we doing this? Can I get to do this? The one time you get an award and then somebody shows out and gives it to your wife. <laughs> if she hadn't told me you just got married, I'd have never done that. Jonathan Tanner, Campbell Middle School. Woo! Oh, well. Yeah. I think he's leaving, though, isn't he? Yeah. How you doing? Good to see you. Yep. Bring all of our recipients up. And thank you for whoever that was that cheered for me. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> so I am Jonathan Tanner, the proud principal of Campbell Middle School. And I have the honor of recognizing our award recipients tonight. And I'm going to start with our student. Um, this is Reedy Maheshwari. And she is an excellent example of our school motto, which is all about being respectful, responsible, and safe. In addition to that, she is a phenomenal academic student. She is in a lot of organizations, orchestra. Um, she's in Beta Club, National Junior Honor Society. And she's been a really important member of student council, working with me for the last couple of years. Um, and this year, she was an officer for our student council body. But more than that, as an international baccalaureate world school, we really emphasize the importance of sharing your culture. And she puts herself out there and does that regularly by um, sharing her traditional dance with different opportunities, such as the talent show, our multicultural night, and any opportunity that she can to share that. So thank you, Reedy, for being such a great example for Campbell Middle School and for all of Smyrna. And this is Miss Thompson, Amani Thompson, Thomas, sorry. Um, and she is a phenomenal parent volunteer. And those principals out here, you always know the ones that you can count on when you need them the most. And this is one of them. Um, in my time at Campbell, she has been on the PTSA board. She served on the foundation board. And recently, we were having a little trouble getting someone to step up and say, OK, I'll organize that eighth grade dance, which is a huge task. And she stepped up. She has organized so many different activities for us through those different organizations. It would, I would be here all night talking about it. But just know that you are appreciated, valued, and you've made Campbell Middle School a better place because of all your work. And 
and we have here our staff member. Um, this is Ms. Luz Thompson. She is our parent facilitator. Her title says it all. She's really about um, you know, making connections with our community, engaging with our parents, but that really only scratches the surface. She does a lot of interpreting for us. Um, she makes sure that we meet all those deadlines with Title I documents and paperwork. But more than any of that, she truly is one of those people that is the heart and soul of our school. And anyone that's been in our school knows Ms. Thompson, Ms. Luz, as she goes by. Um, but in addition to all the phenomenal things she does on a regular basis, one of the things we've been most proud of the last couple of years is working with a foundation in Colombia, and we have sent students over to work in Cartagena, Colombia with some schools where they, this year, um, provided a playground for a school, they provided bathrooms where they didn't have bathrooms, running water for a retirement community, and that's just a few of the things that those students did, and there were 16 of those students that went this year. And none of that would have happened if it wasn't for this woman right here. So we are very proud and thankful for everything that you've done to make Campbell a better place. Good luck at your. Uh, I'm so tired. <laughs> Which camera? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's it. Thank y'all. Thank you. TC Elementary. <laughs> Leslie Mansfield. Where's she at? Usually back there with Chris Ragsdale. I mean, I mean, you. Okay, what do we got? You know what you're doing? I do. Oh, yeah, I, right. I do. I do. So I'm Leslie Mansfield. I'm the lucky girl get, that gets to be principal at Teasley. And I'm so excited about our recipients tonight. And I claim Reedy because she was ours. And we're very thankful to have her little brother coming up behind her. So she was just as fabulous when she was with us. Um, but tonight we are going to honor first Luke Ramsey. This is Luke. Isn't he adorable and <laughs> handsome and fabulous? So Luke is a fourth grader at Teasley, and um, as we were walking in, I was with Mrs. McClinning, one of our assistant principals, and I said, you know, how, what would you say about Luke? And I think this just captures it so well. She said, you know, Luke is the kid that everyone wants to have in their class. Um, he makes everything better. He works well with everyone. He is kind to everyone. He's a hardworking student. Um, and he's just pretty awesome. So I think the thing that is the most impressive to me that Luke has done recently for our Black History Month celebration, Luke memorized the entire I Have a Dream speech. I know, and recited it twice um, during our assembly. So give him a round of applause for that. He was very thankful that there was no time for him to do that tonight. So... <laughs> Luke is a part of our distinguished gentleman, and my dad actually volunteered with that last year, and he always came home and had things to say about Luke and just how much he enjoyed um, being with him. He's in chorus. Um, he's been on student council for a couple of years. So all in all, Luke is just a great kid and a great student. So Luke, we love you, and we're so proud of you. And then next, we're going to honor Kelly McCluskey. And if you are at, on Facebook, the Wave of Excellence, this is a household name to you. Um, so Kelly is a kindergarten pair pro um, who is giving us her second career. Um, she managed a Radio Disney station very, very successfully, but then decided that her passion was at Teasley with us. So she's had two children who have come through Teasley and... Honestly, she just makes everything better. Um, she's wonderful at promoting our school and the things that you see publicly, but I think the most fabulous things about Kelly are the things that she does that nobody ever sees. Um, she has a little group of students that she mentors. Um, she touches base with them really every day. Um, she sets up programs for their success so that rather than being sent to another classroom for being in trouble, they are excited to work to go to another classroom um, to be leaders and have a reward, which is so great to give them something to look forward to like that. So, Kelly, you make a difference every day. You make a difference not only for Teasley, but for every Smyrna school. 
Um, so go on the Wave of Excellence and check it out. You'll see her name everywhere. So we are so grateful for you, and we love you for all that you do. Our um, volunteer was not able to be here today, um, but it was Linda Tricano, who has been the president of our foundation for the last two years, and she's very amazing as well. So thank you, guys, and Mayor, thank you for this opportunity. Picture. Make this quick. Yeah, this may be a better side. Than anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really for you. Oh. Well, here, let me give you this. How about this side? <laughs> You don't get it, does she? I got it. You ever had a ticket in Smyrna? <laughs> oh. You'll be in custody before you leave the building. Smyrna Elementary. James Ward is not here. I understand Santi Ventura and Alex Soto. I like somebody to sort of get on me from time to time. Okay. I mean, so, yeah, there you go. It's a microphone. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. All right, I'll go in this order. I should be first. I am Shanti Ventura, um, assistant principal at Smyrna Elementary, but I have this honor tonight. And... Um, Jada Butler is the first person I'm going to speak about. And really, Jada, um, I could talk about you, but this sweet letter that your teachers wrote about you is really more appropriate. So uh, Jada is creative, determined, helpful, focused. These are just a few of the words that come to mind when we think of Jada Butler. She is a natural leader that is beloved by her peers and teachers. It's amazing to see how her smile and positive energy brightens an entire room. Jada is a goal setter and works tirelessly to achieve them. Even though she has maintained all A's the entire year, she is always searching for ways to improve. Jada is an asset to her leadership club at school. As a member of Girl Power, she works to uplift and empower others. Not only is she a leader in the classroom, but in her community as well. On the basketball court, not in her pink lovely dress. Uh, Jada is a fierce competitor while at the same time exhibiting true sportsmanship. She's played with Upward Basketball Program for several, several years. Jada uses her skills and love of basketball to practice the seventh habit, sharpening the saw. I know that we will hear and see great things from this young lady in the future. Her outstanding and undeniable work ethic as a student has challenged us to be better teachers. We love you, we're proud of you, and wish you nothing but the best in all of your future endeavors. <coughs> Ms. Grayson and Mr. Ewell. Uh, besides being a great wife and a new mother at her own home, she manages to be so much more at her second home with us at Smyrna Elementary. As our speech teacher, she touches so many kids throughout the year. I don't know if many people know, but speech teachers have a very large caseload, like over 50 kids, sometimes even up in the 70s. She is their advocate and their soft place to land when the going gets tough. She supports fellow teachers and helps parents to understand their child's nuances. She supports administration by jumping in whenever needed, wherever needed, and is a great sounding board of ideas. She is funny and smart, and she knows what is best for kids and is tenacious about getting kids what they need to be successful, no matter what the challenge is in the way. Bailey is the kind of teacher that makes the whole school a better place. Okay, Maria, Cindy and I, Cindy is the secretary, you know how the secretaries really run the school, so. Um, sat down and we were like, I said, Cindy, what are we gonna say? She's like, 
well, there's too much to say. <laughs> Maria does everything. She has five children, all gone through schools um, in the Smyrna area. She gets up in the morning, they come to school, she comes to school, and she does whatever they need her to do, we, whatever we need her to do. She's in the classroom, she's in the um, cafeteria, she's in, back in behind the line in the cafeteria, she's upstairs, she's downstairs, she does everything. And she goes to Campbell Middle and does the same, and she goes to Campbell High and helps out there. So this is a true volunteer worker right here. Thank you, Maria, for coming every single day for no money. No, not a dime. All right. We're going to take one big one with all of us. Hey, yeah, that's the husband. Let's take out the glass. Yeah, how about that? Let's take out the glass. I love it. Let's get Love it, love it. Thank you. Russell Elementary, Amy Watson. Oh, it is. Tammy Watson. I'm here. Thank you. Okay, I did see my student. There he is. Okay, my um, volunteer could not be here, and if I don't say it now, I know I will forget, so I have to do her first. She is phenomenal. She has four students at Russell Elementary. Um, she stays there all the time. She drops them off. She says she works in the parent resource. Um, she helps the teachers. She does everything. So we decided to give her a job so she is now our lunchroom monitor. So now she gets paid and she can still be at Russell. But we really depend on her and she does a great job. So the first person is Mr. Jonah Gomez. Look at him. Isn't he awesome? He's so cute. Okay, Jonah, I won't embarrass you. Jonah is a rock star. We have a student council. He is the president of the student council. So way to go, Jonah. But what I love about Jonah is that I walk to school all the time, so my students know me, and they feel very comfortable coming to talk to me. So one day, Jonah decided that he did not understand something that I did. And he wanted to come, and he wanted to meet with me. So he went to the front office and made an appointment with my secretary. And he got on my calendar to meet with me. So we had a conversation, and Jonah understood what I did and why I did it, but I also understood why he came and asked me. So, Jonah, that was awesome. I mean, he had his notes, his agenda, his pen, his interview questions. I mean, I was like sweating after it was over, but he did a great job. So he's going to be a politician one day. But he really is. He's that good. Oh, okay. <laughs> but also, we are known for our space team at Russell Elementary, and we just had our STS-20, and Jonah was our lead astronaut. So he got us off on Thursday with no problems, no shakes. We went up in space, and we landed on Friday, and it was awesome. And let me tell you a little bit about this. They start in August and they go all the way to May, that we actually have a parade with a police officer that comes by. They actually do interview questions. They actually do all the exercise that astronauts would do. They have to study. They have to take the test. If they don't pass, they don't get to be a part of it. It is truly an assimilation of what they go through. So it is awesome. We have the medical units, we have everything. So if you have not been before, you have to come. It is always in May. But as you can see, not only student council, he's also an astronaut. So who knows what Jonah's future is going to be, but we do know one thing, right? He has a future, right? Yeah. So Jonah, thank you for being an awesome fifth grader. This lovely lady is Miss Divine, and she is divine. You, I have to get her to speak to you because when she speaks, you just calm down. She has the most beautiful accent that whenever I'm, like, frustrated, she just says, hello, Miss Watson, and I just calm down. So I'm just going to get you to say that. Please do it for me. Hello, Miss Watson. <laughs> I mean, isn't that awesome? It is so calming. But... She has a really tough job. She is uh, 
special needs pre-K student. I'm teacher at Russell, and I mean, I tell you a job. She had me hooked when she interviewed, and she says, well, you know, Ms. Watson, with these little kids, you gotta have the aroma, you gotta make sure they have the right clothes on, their sensory, you know, how things feel, what they eat, some don't like rough foods. I'm like, I, 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 I can't deal with it. You're good, you're good, you got the job. <laughs> I mean, she not only thought about academically about these students, she talked about them socially, emotionally, and everything. She even has a sensory room for our kids when they get overloaded. So guess what? When we as teachers and principals get overloaded, guess where we go? We also use the little preschool sensory room. But she has been a tremendous asset. She's the team leader. And I can't believe you've only been with me for, what, three years? But she has done a great job, and she promised me she was going to never leave me, right? Right. <laughs> I put on the spot. But thank you, Lisa, for everything you do. You are a joy, and we just love having you at Russell. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Here's another award. That's for oh, your volunteer. I'll put you like it's mine. Yep, yeah, I'm at like it's yours. <laughs> Let's just get this picture over here. Okay? That's good. That's good. You get it? <laughs> Congratulations. Norton Park Elementary, Michelle Curry. How you doing? Very good. How are you? Good evening, everyone. I have the pleasure of recognizing three very awesome people. The first one is my student, Latavian Quinn. Latavian is a awesome student. He is, he comes in every morning, he's smiling, he's ready to learn, he's focused on learning every day, and he is polite. Latavian is always ready to help serve others while he's at Norton Park. We have our Atlanta food bank that comes twice a month. Latavian stays after school. It starts at 3.30, it's over about five, and he is out helping set up with the food, taking the food to cars. He's just an awesome kid, but I'm gonna read to you what your teacher said. It says, walk in the steps of Latavian Quinn and you'll find a young man who's kind and respectful to his peers and adults. He contributes his thoughts and ideas during class instruction. Each day he gives his best effort in class. Latavian is an artistic student. He always has his drawings in his book bag, and he's always ready to share his portfolio with others. When Latavian sees a friend in need of some extra arts um, help, he gives them his art skills right on the dot. Latavian is a caring person who looks out for, his, for the best interest of his friends. If he feels someone is not treated fairly, he will speak up and take up for his friends. Overall, Latavian is a fine young man with a bright future ahead of him. I am so proud to have him in my class, Mr. St. Bill. Congratulations. <laughs> our next person that we're gonna recognize is our teacher, and this is Mr. McClenny. <laughs> Mr. McClenny. Here are some words that one of your colleagues said about you. Go with the flow, get things done, personality, makes learning fun for kids, uses his love for music to encourage and entertain the entire school. He is our school DJ. He has a partner. They have an outfit that they wear. It's quite entertaining. <laughs> Willing to do whatever is asked of him with a can-do attitude. Creative, on the spot with decision making, selfless, giving. He's a team player, always there if you need a laugh always <laughs> supportive and family oriented he is an awesome um team member on our building leadership team he gives his ideas he put a hundred percent in whatever he does it has been a joy to get to know him and actually work with him this year <coughs> mr brian mcclenny And my last person is Carly Stevens from Gas South. Oh, not Ga yes, Gas South. Yeah. Yes, Gas South. Um, Carly is, has been awesome to us at Norton Park. She has provided our students with so many opportunities 
to extend our learning outside of the classroom, helping us pay for field trips, and then also helping our teachers. She came into our building, brought all of Gas Up into our building, and we had a big barbecue to recognize our teachers. This summer, Gas South is gonna help us beautify our lands in the back. We're gonna have a community day where our staff and our students this summer, along with Gas South, we're gonna plant in the back. So we have, a, we have loved working with you and working with Gas South, so thank you so much, Carly Stevens. Call me irresistible. <laughs> Thank y'all. Congratulations. Nick and Jack Elementary, Adam Hill. While we're, while Adam's coming up. There's two guys that were out front earlier that almost got hit by a car. I think it was those two guys back there. Are y'all okay? I heard the car honk at you, and y'all were in the walking. And y'all went, y'all both went, what's that all about? Here you go, Adam. How are you, sir? Good to see you. You too. Good yep. to see you. Thank you. Yep. Good evening. So my student recipient for this award is the one and only Miss Lily McDonough. Lily has some fans out in the audience. She's had three of her fifth grade teachers here, and they are so proud of you. Lily, I reached out to our fourth and fifth grade teachers and said, you know, we do this twice a year, and in May, I need an extra special fifth grade student to represent us and uh, somebody who is truly deserving of this award and both fourth and fifth grade teachers unanimously were able to tell me that's Lily McDonough. So we're so happy and you look awesome tonight. Let me tell you about Lily McDonough. This is what her teachers had to say about her. Lily McDonough is a fifth grade student in Nickajack. She is both a student of character and a high achiever academically. Lily participates in our math team and our science Olympiad team each week and was a star with birds and plants at the 2018 Science Olympiad competition. Lily is extremely kind and willing to take on any leadership role placed in front of her. She's shy and quiet, but don't let that fool you. During class and throughout the building, Lily exemplifies what it means to be a respectful, responsible role model. She is respectful not only to faculty and staff, but also to her peers. She is responsible as she takes ownership of her learning and is always a diligent worker throughout all content areas. Lily is a role model as a team player in all activities both in and out of school. Lily does an amazing job balancing school and extracurricular activities which include softball with Ryan Park, taking piano lessons since she was six, tennis camp, and Camp Woodland each summer. Lily, we are so proud of you, and you are very ready for middle school, and I hope that you always keep a little bit of Nickajack in your heart as you move on throughout your years, but we're very proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Miss Carter, come on up. Let me tell you about Miss Carter. I got it. I got, there we go. Ms. Carter is our parent volunteer who is also currently serving Nickajack as a first grade supply teacher. You know, if you're going to be up at the school all day, every day, volunteering all over the building as a room parent, a PTA board member, school council member, you might as well be a part of the staff and make a little bit of money <laughs> at the same time. Kimberly has two awesome kiddos. I know they're here supporting our mother tonight. A second grader, JB, and a kindergarten, Annalise, who is a part of our dual language immersion program. Kimberly is an amazing wife and mother, but what I love the most about Kimberly is she has her hands in um, a bit of everything at Nickajack, and it's most appreciated that she's always on my side. <laughs> She's a positive force that cares about all students at Nickajack, no matter their background. She's my neighbor and lives just across the way from me. She's an outstanding member of this community and wants what we all want for Smyrna, and that's exceptional schools where excellent teaching and learning are taking place at high levels. I appreciate you, Kimberly, because, of, because you get the big picture. Uh, you are a problem solver, and you come to the table with solutions with any potential problem, worry, or complaint anyone else in our community may have. So thank you for your tireless work, your awesome attitude, your flexibility, 
and what a blessing you are to our school and our entire community. So, thank you. So Oh, this print's really small right here. Oh, hi. This is, I got to get it right because for the entire year last year, not just myself, but I learned that the entire school was calling her the wrong name. Her name is Jalisa, but everybody was calling her Jalissa, and she wasn't going to correct anybody because that's just who she is. She's just too kind to do so, but I've got plenty to tell you about this young lady. Jalisa Blackwell is an extraordinary teacher that only knows to go above and beyond in all that she does. It's just who she is. It's a part of her fabric. She is a third grade teacher at Nickajack, but oh my goodness, that doesn't tell you enough about who she is, her incredible ability to positively impact students, build incredible home school connections with her students' families, nor about the admiration our staff has for her smile, her encouragement of other staff members, and her tireless efforts to be this way every single day, no matter how she's feeling herself. Jaleesa is so much more than an outstanding teacher, and y'all, the things that she can do and accomplish with her students in her classroom is truly remarkable. Jaleesa serves as our B3 team leader. B3 is our school's PBIS committee. And B3 has two meanings that Jaleesa was a part of creating for our school. First, it's a reminder for our students to be respectful, be responsible, and be a role model. But it also, we're the Nickajack Braves, and it's a reminder to our kids that we're all working to be a better brave. Every day, every moment, better son, a better daughter, a better teacher, a better principal, um, and letting them know that that's, that's a life thing, right, to always work on being better. Jaleesa has no clue of her overall positive impact on our entire school. Not only does she work during the day with our school staff on positive behavioral interventions and supports, she has taken it upon herself to see the need our after-school program has in implementing positive reinforcements with our students. You see, our after-school program instructors are not teachers, and so they don't have the same bag of tricks or strategies in working with our students so Jaleesa saw the need, and so she has begun working with them from 3 to 6 in the evenings to teach them some of those tricks and strategies in working with our students. And that's just, again, who she is. What more could a principal ask for? PBIS is a state and community, or I'm sorry, state and county initiative. And because of Jaleesa's work along with, um, she's the team leader, and we also have a coach, the state has said that our walkthrough, our state walkthrough, was one of the best they've ever had this school year. They've asked Jaleesa and our coach to present at the state level at the PBIS um, conference. As well, they were featured in a recent magazine article about PBIS. Jaleesa, I adore you and feel blessed to call you my friend. Thank you for our real and raw conversations, for all your work with all our students and their families the work you do with our homeless shelter that feeds into Nickajack, our gardens initiatives. I mean, the list truly could go on and on. You are more than deserving of this award and recognition. Thank you. Love you. I know we got three more um, schools, but uh, for the second year in a row, Adam gets the award for saying so many good things about his, I mean, not that everybody else did, but Adam just goes on and on and just, I know, <laughs> but, but he was good. So, King Springs Elementary, Dr. Cindy Swick, Swick, S-Z-E-W, hey, I went to high school with that guy. Yeah, me too. Well, you look a lot better than I do. What happened? <laughs> Brian Cooper and I did go to high school together. <laughs> Doug Parks. Yeah. Uh, big deal. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. I'm so glad that we are here this evening to share with you these people who make such a difference at our school. Our first person is an amazing student. His name is Luke. It seems like it's the evening of Luke's this evening. But this is Luke Watkins, and he is a fifth grader at King Springs. At King Springs, we are all about pride. And the P is for positive. Look at this face. <laughs> he, is, he looks like this all the time. He is positive every day with work, with friends, with everything that happens at school. He is respectful every day, all day, not only to his teachers, but to his peers. 
He has integrity. He is doing the right thing even when no one is watching. He is dependable. He's that student that you could ask to do something and you know it's going to get done well. And it's done with enthusiasm. Look at that smile. <laughs> so, Luke, the future is so bright for you. And I heard you might want to go into, let me see, hmm, aerospace engineering. Ooh. This is exciting. And you have the perfect outlook to be successful in anything you want to do. So we are proud to honor you this evening. Congratulations. <laughs> Our staff member this evening is Stacy Chambers. She is our one and only ESOL teacher at King Springs. We have a blossoming ESOL population at King Springs. She has about 90 students on her caseload. She serves them at the kindergarten and first grade building, and she jumps in her car, and she drives over and serves them at the second through fifth grade building. She absolutely does it with this beautiful smile on her face. And not only does she serve ESOL students, but she also serves their families. We've had some situations this year where she's gone above and beyond her calling as their teacher to help solve some situations for them as families. And Smyrna is very lucky to have her as part of their community. So congratulations. <laughs> All right, and our volunteers. So Mr. Cooper and Mr. Farr are two of the people that I met first when I came to King Springs. And they are with the Smyrna Optimist Club and said, we read with second grade. And I said, fabulous. So I went to the second grade teachers. Would you like them to come back to read with your students? And it was overwhelming, yes. You truly make a difference with the people that you bring to our school, with the time that you spend with our children. Our children look forward to seeing you every week and to the rest of your volunteers. So we appreciate you, and thank you so much for all that you do for us. You can wear these uh, pins on your lapel if you get pulled over by the police. <laughs> Say, Look, I got the mayor's war. They <laughs> <laughs> didn't call, call 911. Max. Quit talking. Okay, I am. <laughs> that's, that's it. Okay, thank you. Congratulations. Thank y'all. Green Acres Elementary, Ashley Myers, principal. We're right down the aisle. This is pretty good. If I could get my Green Acres recipients to come on up. Oh my goodness, you just have to look at this. Can you see this beauty right here? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start with our student. This is Brittany Hernandez. And we have so many special students at Green Acres with so many talents. But I usually try to pick a fifth grader. I could not pick a fifth grader because I had to pick Brittany. She's in fourth grade. And she is one of the sweetest students I have ever met. Every morning I get a big hug from her big smile. She says, how are you? How was your weekend? And she's just precious. But she stands out as a good example of good citizenship, responsibility, kindness. She shares freely. This is probably the best thing about her. She gives to others and sacrifices for herself just to see others joy and happiness. And we are very proud of Brittany. Brittany, you are a model for other students in Gator Great pride and responsibility. So thank you for doing that and congratulations. You are the Mayor's Award recipient. <laughs> that was All right, and our staff member from Green Acres, this is Ms. Sorrow, first grade teacher. And I have to say first, um, the way we do this at Green Acres is I get nominations from my staff for all of the three recipients and multiple staff members nominated you, I think five. So that was pretty telling, so it was pretty easy to pick. Um, Ms. DeSaro is one of the most professional teachers. She goes above and beyond every day. She stays late all the time. She is our first grade team leader 
and she pulls that team together to make sure they're all on the same page, that they're positive, and then they're, they're doing what's right for kids. Um, I would say that Ms. Tesoro puts the kids before her every day, every second of every day. Um, and because she's a second language learner herself, she is just incredible at bridging the gap between teaching English or Spanish speakers English and getting them up to speed in reading. So she is amazing. She's high energy. She um, is very animated when she teaches. So I love going in her classroom. I feel like I start getting involved like I'm a first grader. It's the best. And, you know, she's just, just fun. You're just a lot of fun and you're just a great role model for our entire staff. The most important thing about Ms. DeSaro, though, is I believe you truly love our school and that you're truly committed to it and would do anything for our kids. So thank you for that, and congratulations. And I just have to say, her dad is here all the way from Brazil. Wow. So where's dad? Can you get him a seat? Yeah. From Brazil. Come on, dad. He traveled a long way to see this special moment. So come on down. Thank you. Okay. Do you know what I'm saying? Probably you speak Portuguese. Yeah, I don't speak Portuguese. I, I hardly conquered the English language. Okay, that's enough. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right. And our volunteer. So this is Camilla Williams. And Camilla is a true servant in the Smyrna community. Um, I was very lucky about a year ago when I started at Green Acres for Camilla reached out to me. And I've known Camilla most of my life. Um, her dad was our um, city uh, attorney many years ago, so we kind of grew up knowing each other. But she reached out to me to see how her church group could serve at Green Acres. And at first it was just we did a little painting of our gator paws and a work day, and then she kept coming back and saying, how else can we help you? How else can we serve? And she made something happen that she doesn't think she should be honored for, recognized for, or anything, but it was very important to us. Um, we were lucky enough to have Must Ministries start a food pantry at Green Acres, and Camilla set up a sign-up genius with her community that has supported the beginning stages of that um, pantry. They come and unpack the food once a month. They distribute the food once a month, which is something we can't do because we're teaching. But we're able to serve 30 families through that pantry because of your work organizing it and caring about the students and families at Green Acres. So that's been very important to us. She's also brought a group of Beta Club students to work with our kids. So she continues to serve in, in many ways for us. So I wanna thank you for what you've done to help us get started with the pantry. And it's so important and you should be recognized for it. And uh, just, just thank you. So congratulations. Congratulations. Belmont Hills Elementary, Ashley Compelli. Did I say that right? Compelli. <laughs> Compelli. How do you pronounce it? Campoli. Campoli is <laughs> her name. I was up there the other day. <laughs> they named her dog after me. Kind of. <laughs> Belmont Elementary. Yes. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. I'm the proud principal of Belmont Hills, and I have three very important people with me tonight. First is our student honoree, Jawan. Jawan is a model fifth grade student who sets a positive example for his peers. He is a highly engaged learner who produces creative and thoughtful work. Jawan is known as the in the classroom for his curiosity. He is always questioning and researching to create a deeper understanding. Juwan is a member of Science Olympiad and has participated in the soccer and tennis clubs. He is also an important part of our morning news crew, where I get to see him every morning <laughs> on the morning news, where he serves as the leader of the team. He is a student who is friends with everyone. Juwan's best qualities are his positive attitude and his determination. Congratulations.
Next, we have our um, employee. Uh, Ms. Gladys Fernandez is our parent facilitator. She has been a part of the Belmont Hills family for over 20 years. Yeah. She is an integral part of the front office with a smile and friendliness for everyone. She is our translator extraordinaire. I don't know how I would make it because she translates everything for me. I'm trying to learn a little Spanish along the way. but <laughs> um, And she works hard to make sure everything is completed in detail-oriented fashion. Families return to visit Ms. Gladys because she has made such an impact in the lives of their children. She is truly an asset to Belmont Hills that we are grateful to have. <laughs> Last but not least, <laughs> Tina Abercrombie is the owner of CNS Paving and an incredible partner in education for Belmont Hills. She has a heart of gold and demonstrates it often with students, families, and teachers of Belmont Hills. Ms. Tina has provided students with festivals, books from the book fair, holiday gifts, and so much more over the past few years that we were thankful for each act of kindness. She actually, for teacher appreciation this week, just had breakfast for the teachers. We're having lunch for the teachers on Thursday. So it's always, she's always doing something for Belmont Hills. Um, you often hear her say it's a God thing as she humbly refers to her generosity. We are indebted to Ms. Tina and all that she has done for Belmont Hills and beyond blessed to have her as part of our family. That's all I'm doing tonight. <laughs> Where? That's enough. She's got one over here. She's got one over here. Where? Camera one? Yes, over there. <laughs> uh, you can go online and just get my face off uh, the Smyrna site. And Argyle, this is the last school, Argyle Elementary. Robert Babay, who is not here, is. Uh, for 11 years, I, I butchered his name, uh, Robert Babalui is what I called it, and he is uh, going to another school also, so we're going to miss him, so how you doing? Doing great. Yeah, just talk right in the microphone. Thank you. Uh, first, we want to thank Mayor Bacon and the City Council for giving us this opportunity to recognize our magnificent people for this award. We want to first recognize our fourth grade student, Amaya Williams. Amaya is described by her teacher, Ms. Cannon, as a fantastic student who is respectful, kind, thoughtful, and friendly to everyone in the classroom. She has taken a leadership role in her class by patiently helping others while maintaining superior grades of her own. Previously, teachers described Amaya in virtually the same way, helpful to others, hardworking, and having a positive attitude. At Argyle, Amaya participates in Girl Scouts and is a member of both Girls on the Run and Science Olympiad teams. She is also an anchor woman on the school's morning news show. In her free time, Amaya likes to play. I'm sorry, Amaya likes to play with her friends. After completing, completing high school, Amaya is going to attend college and become a chemist. Congratulations, Whoa. Amaya! <laughs> Next, I am proud to recognize our 2018 Classified Employee of the Year and Parent Liaison, Zola Hill. Hard-working, patient, kind, and committed are just a few words that describe Ms. Hill. Ms. Hill came to Argyle three years ago and made an immediate impact on the engaging, schools, schools, engaging our school's families in education. She has turned her office into a classroom for our parents. Whether she's teaching English classes or basic computer skills, she is, or even help building a resume, all these things she does readily and willingly to help our parents to become better and to enhance their abilities here in America. She's also a part of the school's council, PTA, and helps to organize the Argyle's International Night, an event designed to celebrate the diversity of our school. Argyle is fortunate to have Ms. Hill as part of our team. Ms. Hill. <laughs> Finally, I would like to acknowledge Argyle's volunteer recipient, Steve Bird. <coughs> Mr. Bird has been an enthusiastic supporter of Argyle students, teachers, and parents. He has assisted us with various school needs, most importantly as an dependent translator to our historic, his, I'm sorry, Hispanic parents. 
He has volunteered many hours translating teacher-parent conferences, curriculum nights, and assisting our parents with surveys. But most importantly, he teaches English classes to our Spanish-speaking parents each week. We know we can call on Steve. At a moment's notice, he will be there. We are grateful for his enthusiastic support for our Argyle families. Thank you. We'll get Chris Ragsdale to come here real quick, and as we close, we got the last school. But um, uh, Chris uh, Ragsdale, our superintendent, I, I don't think there's a better superintendent in Southeast United States. He 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 gets it. He knows what's going on. Um, he's come to every one of these since he's been superintendent, and you've stayed for the whole thing. And I give him grief whenever he and I are just by ourselves, and I slap him around a little bit. And, <laughs> I mean, look at look at these guns. I mean. He's just thinking about right now getting me in a headlock and squeezing. But Chris, thanks for so much you do. Appreciate if you want to say something, then will you close it? Yeah, in all seriousness, uh, I appreciate what, what you do, Mayor, and, and City Council, uh, because as everybody knows, uh, public education is, is not necessarily always on the news for accolades and accomplishments, even though that's what we do. We make great accomplishments and, and need to get great accolades, which all of you guys here today so so well deserved I can't say enough uh, for the volunteers in the room um, because you know our mission is one team one goal student success and you guys are part of the team we really you can ask anybody in the room anybody in our organization we couldn't be successful without the volunteers and without what you do so never uh, even for a second think about how you may not impact a student because every time you're in the building, you're engaged with our students, that's what you're doing. You're impacting our students for the rest of their life. That You may not know, but then again, you may be in the grocery store and, and a past student comes up and says how much you've impacted their life. Teachers, staff members that are here, principals, obviously it goes without saying, but I say it all the time. Uh, we have two types of employees in our district, those that teach and those that serve those that teach. And it's about what goes on in the classroom, but it takes the entire team to be successful. So everyone here tonight, and especially the parents, because these students are successful because of what you do to engage them when they're not in our building. And that matters tremendously. Um, from extended family to immediate family to siblings and friends. It, it really makes a difference at what you guys do to help those students succeed. And just like everybody that has been up here with the, with the student, it's about the future and what we're doing to prepare them for success. So I appreciate everybody that's here and, and the impact that you have on our one goal, which is student success. So thank you. Oh, 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 wait, I almost forgot what I've been reminded twice of. So Susan Thayer does uh, give her regrets, as, as Max said, he broke her leg. No, <laughs> foot. He broke her foot. And so she couldn't be here tonight. She's got the, you know, the one-legged scooter, you know, kind of thing, which you have to make fun of. So I told her if she came, I'd make fun of her. So she didn't come. So, But anyway, she does greatly appreciate um, all of you guys as well, just not as much for Max. And that's, that's a credibility issue. I told you, but nobody believed it. Chris told you. Thank y'all so much. Congratulations to the winners, and have a safe trip. See y'all next time.